astronauts from the American Space Shuttle Discovery have completed an unscheduled spacewalk as the first step to rescuing a broken down satellite. They attached homemade fingers onto the shuttle's robot arm, which tomorrow they'll use to try and flick a switch on the satellite. Down, uh, in the a tranquil awakening high above Earth before an arduous day. Inside the shuttle cabin, the makeshift fly swap that it's hoped might ensnare the rogue satellite switch. Is that more or less what you had in mind? The camera at the elbow of the shuttle's robot arm above the cargo bay trained on the closed cockpit door as the astronauts prepared for what had never been planned, spacewalking. Plenty of weightless space performances had gone before, but always with intricate training and preparation. Messrs Hoffman and Griggs had only been through general training on Earth, never intending to leave the shuttle in space. Now, with their bulky gloves, they wrestled with the makeshift fly swats, cut from the plastic covers of a flight manual. They attached three varieties of the swatter to the end of the robot arm. Tomorrow, Discovery will fly close to the tumbling dormant satellite in an attempt to brush the ignition switch with the fly swat and so trigger 80 million pounds worth of hardware into life. But that, if anything, will be more hazardous than today's unplanned spacewalking. Discovery's navigational computer was never programmed to make such a maneuver. It will depend on pilot skill and the skill of the one woman astronaut aboard who will have to drive the robot arm. Have a good lunch, you guys. And uh, you guys did super for the EVA. To the evident relief of mission control on the ground, the astronauts are now safely back aboard, the satellite still tumbling 50 miles ahead of them. John Snow, ITN, Washington.